up dresses and salted pretzels and sports life talk fans this is sports life talk south and you have entered episode 69 all <laughs> the pretty girls beautiful gorgeous ladies walk like this and we have a very special guest but first your host for this evening mi double z el paso buenos dias buenas noches and you've got your forever sweetie Simon that does not wait in lines and that Buckeye Brit who has a little something on her shirt. She's going to show you right now. Can you see it? <laughs> see it. That's an amazing shirt. And I concur. I absolutely concur. I love this and shirt. then our special guest for this evening from OKC Hot Girl Walk, Miss Kendra. Hi. Coming live to you from Oklahoma City. Here we are. You well, know, we can we Thanks for some pod to go like that. So, oh, is that is that the virtual hug? It is today. Oh, the oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what making tortillas means. <laughs> I feel like it's in another country that might mean something different. <laughs> Maybe not. It is episode 69. Yeah, this is for hey, Christ. It never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. So, what are we drinking today? I will start with myself because mine is going to be the glorious Heineken Zero. You can barely see it because it's green. Oh, damn. You came prepared. Heineken comes out with beer that has 0% um, alcohol. Um, I think some of you guys may have remembered that. I am not drinking alcohol or eating sugar during Lent, which makes for a very crabby misty, but I'm making it through with this fake beer. Cheers. You'll have, you'll, uh, like one more week and you'll be okay. Are you having really bad sugar withdrawals? Uh, no, just, uh, bad, like, I want a shot of tequila. Like, you know, <laughs> When I was when I was pregnant, before I told people I would be like, I need a non-alcoholic beer. I would tell the waiter or waitress or whatever. I'm like, God, this tastes like shit. And then I would be like, God, I I wanted tequila too when I was pregnant, and I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no, I'm just I feel like Lenten Misty is your alter ego. Ms. El Paso is your real. Yes. Ego. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. All right, Elena, what are you drinking? All right. Well, my thanks, Dad. Thanks for calling me. Okay, last week my brother called during the podcast. And this week my father calls during the podcast, which just verifies again that no one in my family watches my podcast. So <laughs> the Steinman men are just not are just not like your Dad, you're I'm gonna make you go back and watch this episode now. And because of that, I am going to have a drink. I do not have a rare cat tonight. I have a Hyde Pinot Noir. Yum. I am trying out this cap that helps take, I don't know, whatever <laughs> makes you allergic to wine in it. And I think it effed up the taste a little bit. Uh, wait, I want what? the stuff that makes you allergic to wine. I don't want the non-allergic wine. I don't know if it like takes the tannins out. I don't whatever makes you allergic. Oh, um, yeah. You know, I it's got supposed you. to remove that. It's got this. Oh, let me tell you, it was a little bit complicated to put together. <sighs> Sounds miserable. I tonight am drinking hi yo. This is hi yo. Hi. It's supposed to make you hi yo. <laughs> 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 it is a crafted mindful social tonic so mm. with organic adaptogens and natural new topics and functional botanicals to celebrate life never wasted and they have wasted crossed out right and <laughs> doesn't make you Basically, it's got it's got like vitamins and stuff and mushrooms in it <laughs> her like, and our lovely guest, Kendra, what are you drinking tonight? I have a um, Vintner's cab. <laughs> so I would hop on. I knew that we were all going to have a drink. So yes. cheers. 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 Okay, see hot girl walk. 
Mm. I love that we all break in the same direction. Unison. Unison. That is, I'm screenshotting that. That's going on the page. That was amazing. That was. All right. Well, let's go to fact check against the glass. This topic <laughs> for surprise is walking. And again, I'll start off first because mine is really not that exciting. Um, so I failed to find a fact. So I'm just going to use my own. Mm -hmm. I miss El Paso when in 2010 ran the marathon, the Houston marathon, and I only trained up to 13 miles. So at the 20 mile mark, <laughs> I hit the wall and I legit walked from, I walked the last six miles of that marathon and not in a very happy way. Like, <laughs> let's just say people were like, all right, Miss El Paso. They were screaming my real name, but they're like, all right, Miss El Paso. And I was like, mouthing, shut the F up because I was like, I don't need anybody talking to me. I got six more miles and I'm not happy. But, but you I ran 20 miles? I ran, I ran jog 20 miles, yeah. I was surprised. I, can, I was like, that's a oh lot. God. I can barely drive 20 miles to work. <laughs> yeah, I hate that too. That sucks. So that's my back check. That's All awesome. Right. We'll just keep going around the horn. I'll go next. All right. So my walk fact for this evening is to get rid of one of the green transgender M&Ms. One. I knew pretty good. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I had to slip that in there. Um, you have to walk the entire length of a football field. And I know you're going to ask, my favorite, what does it take to get rid of a peanut M&M? Also green. Because we're Mariah Carey. We only have green M&Ms in our dressing rooms. Um, you have to walk two football fields. Wow. One. So if you have the whole bag, it's just like, you might as well just. You better start your marathon. <laughs> <laughs> a marathon just to kill all those calories. I don't want to know that because I'll <laughs> eat like an entire family side bag of M&Ms probably when we get off this call, this podcast, whatever. Whatever. Well, you better get to running. I did. I ran today. Oh, there you go. Yay. Did you guys know that in 1970, 66% of children walked to school and only, <laughs> and today only 13% walked to school? Through five wow. feet of snow, barefoot. Uphill. Mm -hmm. Uphill. Okay, well, for real, for real. Brittany, mm -hmm. did you walk to school when you were younger? No, but I had to walk to my bus stop, which was like probably a quarter mile, half mile away. They didn't, uh, like, now they pick everyone up, like, in front of their houses. And we, we had to walk all the way down. Fun fact, I also had deer that walked me to my bus, like, every single day. Yeah. Are you Snow White? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> all, the little, all the animals frolicking along with me. She's Cinderella. <laughs> oh. Because right. I'm bobbing and weaving down the street. <laughs> hmm. right, Kendra, do you have a fat <laughs> Um, yeah, I have a fact. Um, so the average person walks 3.1 miles an hour. And if you were to walk constantly at that speed, you would walk the circumference of the earth in 374 days. Wow. Yeah. So on top of that, I think we walk like, I don't know, it's some crazy number, but the average person walks the circumference of the earth three times in their life. So yeah, nice. just in the world. Well, let's get into that. Tell us about OKC Hot Girl Walk. Um, yeah, so this is this will be our second season. We started last year, and it's just really grown exponentially. So OKC is not anywhere near as big as Houston um, or a lot of the cities down in Texas, which you guys know of. But we are very up and coming. Um, and with that being said, we have a lot of people coming from it out of state, like moving in, um, especially with like the price of living and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But with that, you know, we're opening more jobs. So we're getting a lot of new people. So um, I technically work remote. So I work in OKC and my company is based out of Houston, which kind of means, that, which kind of means that I, um, I don't see anyone other than the guys that I work with 
every once in a while when I go and see like them in person. Um, and so I was finding it really hard to meet like-minded women, if that makes sense. And there was just no way to do it. Like you can't, it's hard to like go into a bar and be like, Hey, do you guys want to be friends with me? (laughs) Um, (laughs) You know, you're like, Hey, can I buy you a drink? And they're like, honey, I'm here with my boyfriend. And you're like, Oh, how flattering. Um, but no, so it's, it was just a hard thing. And so I kind of saw a lack of community there where I thought it could really, you know, thrive, which it has. And so that being one of the big reasons behind it, um, I feel like that's a, a key like component to how well it's done in OKC, just because we had that lack of community there. Um, and it's been awesome. And so when do you walk and how far do you walk and mm-hmm. give us a um, So right now we're like in our off season, if you want to call it. So right now we're doing a lot of indoor workouts, different classes, just because the weather is unpredictable in Oklahoma um, until, well, truly through May. But um, so we're on our off season, but we will start closer to May, like walks, but we walk every Wednesday. It's about two miles. Um, I found that that's kind of a good point for most of the women that come. But we also have what I call a mingle minute before. So the girls that like might not know anyone and they want to find a walking partner, um, they show up 30 minutes early and just kind of talk. We listen to music before we head out. And so then everyone you know, have someone to walk with, um, a walking buddy. They're not just feeling alone and just gives people more of an opportunity to show up and realize that there are other women there that are doing the same thing. Um, and then afterwards we typically have a social hour. So, you know, drinks are usually provided by someone locally and yeah, we just hang out. Now That's you good. said the That's magic good. word for me because Elena and Brittany know I don't walk. I miss Uber. I miss um, it's only two blocks. Can we bike? Anything mm-hmm. but walk there. Um, but you just said the magic word, which was socializing and drinks, which if they were to tell me that's at the end of the rainbow, I would walk to that rainbow. Mm-hmm. When we're walking somewhere, Misty, I mean, 99% of the time it's to a restaurant or a bar. Like, what's all you say? Are- El Paso, there's generally a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow there. Well, yeah. no, it was donuts and coffee, which I was like, I don't want, don't, unless it was Irish coffee, then I was like, <laughs> but it was regular coffee. And I was like, I want to just walk to this donut shop. <laughs> the worst thing ever said, but <laughs> I don't want to walk. I want to well, as we know from the M&M, you did not burn enough calories on your walk back from the donut shop to make up for the donut. So it's true. No, not even That's close. Point. I think it's like a mile. You have to walk like a mile to burn off a donut. Oh, well, that it was pretty much a mile. Like, yeah, yeah. sweetie, so time to make sure that we were gonna get our steps in, and I was just so opposed to it. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. It was funny, and then we walked the wrong way. Yeah, first, and then she was really angry about that. <laughs> so, what would, um, Kendra, what would you say is one of the what makes you really, really, really happy at the end of the day about this group? It is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. And um, I know that sounds silly and whatnot, especially being the person that runs it and everything, but I've never seen a more encouraging and uplifting group ever. Um, These women come in and I mean, if you want to be hyped up this whole, we've got roughly anywhere from like 250 to 350 um, girls walk with us every week. And so if you can just imagine how comfortable and loved you feel in a group like that, um, there's absolutely no judgment. Everyone's there to do the same thing. And we're all kind of walking at the same pace. And it's just so wholesome. Um, And that's one of my favorite things about it. Truly, you meet people you would never meet, and then you get to experience things that I don't think I would have ever experienced something like this had it not, had not like the opportunity arisen. So I love it. All right. So are the Texans from Sports Life Talk invited for a Wednesday to come walk with you? We will put aside all of the sports and I will allow you guys to come up. I would love for you guys to come up. But I will say, any Longhorns gear, you're out. Yeah, out. I will, I will bring a square shirt for you guys. Hey, 
I mean, I'm repping Missouri State tonight, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to you today. Yeah, so, yeah. We're, none of us are our Longhorn fan, except for Jared on the chat is a huge Longhorn fan. So uh, I, believe you know, I believe you know that cat, Jared Payne on the chat. Um, so we actually had a write-in question from one of our viewers who's also on the chat, Ken the Baseball Traveler. He's the Baseball Traveler on Instagram. He's a great friend of ours, lives up in Pittsburgh, <clears throat> Pennsylvania. So you've got people from all over the nation on the chat tonight. And he says, Kendra. I went to the cardiologist today and it was a good visit. I was told to keep doing what I've been doing. So I came home and drank the rest of the crown black, <laughs> played the MLB show and waited for your podcast. Is there any advice you can give me to even get a better review from my doctor and cardiologist next time? You know what? I sure can. Um, <laughs> So if you walk a total of 10 mile, ten minutes a day, which is just not even a mile and a half, um, it will improve your blood pressure, your cholesterol, um, anything going on with your heart. So if you're um, battling anything there and it's just 10 minutes. And so it helps with absolutely everything. Now, if, you know, the crown black gets to be a little bit much um, and you're seeing a few extra pounds, 20 minutes a day and I think you lose like seven pounds in a year um so I mean it's just a quick thing to add it's just so easy so that last part was added <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's quickly I want to know more about Kendra so we're about to go yes. into 10 rapid fire questions bam yeah. we're gonna go back and forth you answer them as quickly as possible are you ready Kendra I hope so all right, I'll start off first. Where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Shawnee, Oklahoma, which is about 45 minutes east of OKC. What's your favorite breakfast food? Um, I'm more of a brunch gal myself, but I like any sort of scramble or I really like chilaquiles. What is your mm. favorite song? Good mm. Ever? Give Me One Reason by Tracy Chapman. Oh, that's Lena's that hard. <laughs> I am singing that March 17th, St. Patty's Day with live stream at Keneally's Irish Pub. So I will I'm make sorry. sure that that gets recorded and sent to you. Please. And that is awesome. Who? So we've got a little bit with celebrity gossip. So we've got to ask, who's your favorite celebrity? Um, just because everything's going on, I want to say Selena. But I will say probably Will Smith. I am <laughs> Selena. Yep. Selena. Uh, reality TV or a movie? I am, I'm not a TV watcher and I'm not a movie watcher, um, but probably reality TV. I love to see some drama. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah I'm out. <laughs> you just got a point from Ms. El Paso. All right. Where was your last vacation? Um, I just went to San Diego in January. Um, yeah, super fun. My best friend lives there. So quick, quick little hey, trip. Best friend. Is your best friend on? Is she watching? I have no idea, but if not, I'll give her a shout. You're going to have to send her the link and make her watch. Okay, I will. Uh, what's your favorite word in another language? Mm, um, Probably like escuchame or borracho. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mine is cacahuate. Oh, I like yours even more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What word do you hate hearing? IG or TikTok? What word do I hate hearing? Oh, that's that's the yeah. What word do you hate hearing? Oh, oh um, I really don't like any variation of the word squelch. <laughs> okay. I just don't like it. I don't like reading it. I get that in a sentence. Um, a squelch is like you heard a squelching noise, so kind of like a boot in watery mud. Oh yeah. I, I just don't like the word, but I also don't like when people say like, ask me to itch something. So like, itch my back. And that's not a thing. So I hate that together rather than just scratch. So yeah, itch. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm seriously like, oh, I like the word. <laughs> No one better okay. say the that I hate her. I'm going to log off right now. <laughs> she doesn't like the P word. 
Wait, you asked us why. Word for fat. Oh, I was like, mm, there are many, there are many P words. Yeah, the, 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 the P word. The P word. I mean. All right. You, um, IG or TikTok? Um, IG to creep on people. TikTok for casual strolling. Hey, and great segue. Power walk or stroll walk? Hmm. I love to enjoy my surroundings. I am a stroll walker. Um, again, it doesn't really matter how fast you're walking as long as you're walking. So, as long as you get there, I love it. So we just met Kendra. <laughs> All right, really quickly, let's go through this. Uh, Derek Carr is going to New Orleans. $150 million contract over four years, and it's including $100 million in a total guarantee. Well, total guarantee money was $100 million. I think this is huge. I think it's great for Derek Carr. I know the Raiders are going to be like, what are you talking about, Misty? But hear me out. Drew Brees, from, uh, 20, from 2001 to 2005, played for the Chargers, and he wasn't doing anything. Now, I mean, then he went to New Orleans – after three years, won them a Super Bowl. I think Derek Carr has something to prove. I think he's going to give um, New Orleans another Super Bowl. So that sucks for the Raiders, but congrats to Derek Carr. We can say that we made him. What are your thoughts, I, Elena? I want to know if Soldier is still online after he had a bunch of karaoke and Coronas this weekend and <laughs> if he's got any comments on that. Because we do have a Raiders fan on the chat. I am not sure if Soldier is still there. Can baseball plat? The baseball traveler says the Saints owner was a car dealer and he just got taken on a car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, I saw I did see a little post today that it was something about how bad New Orleans whooped up on the Raiders last year. And so, you know, how are you gonna take their quarterback when you can already beat the Raiders? And I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but you know, as long as I get to see Derek Carr in a suit. One more time, I'm here for it. <laughs> it's brother was you not to. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Desert Raider. Good Rens DC. Finally, some Raiders fans pop off. Go wild. <laughs> Get crazy in the chat. Brittany, you got a you got any um comments or Kendra? Oh, I think it's gonna be great. I I like Derek Carr. I like David Carr. He was hot too. The cars just are have the brothers are hot. You know, They're we can just there. talk about the hotness because it is Women's History Month. That gives us the right today. Happy Women's History right. Month. International Happy. Women's Day coming up. I believe. But I'm that's excited to see him play because you know it's easy to go to a Saints game. It's not as easy to go to Vegas. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it I is as easy. That. It is a flight, but I'm there. I'm in New Orleans way more than I'm in Vegas. Like I said, I am excited for New Orleans, but I mean, I'm sad that he had to leave the Raiders. Um, okay, I'm going to bring Eric on real quick before we jump into another subject really quickly. What's up, Eric? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, so Hi. You're going to want to write these down because we have a betting professional on the show. Let us introduce Eric from ETOF 21 Sports, who comes on our show every single Tuesday to give you those betting drops and i will tell you he wins all the time so don't let us down tonight eric <laughs> I will try not to. don't screw up i will try not to um first one louisiana tech and fiu first half under probably around 72 or 71 and a half this is in the conference usa uh tournament they play in frisco texas it's in this football field and they have two games going on at simultaneously so it really distracts everyone from playing so i'm gonna play the first half under in that game <laughs> next one i'm going oklahoma plus two avery anderson is out for oklahoma state he's their best defender best play banker and the only one that can really score in the half court set their offense has been really struggling since he went out Plus, if you look at Oklahoma State, they really struggled defensively on the road. And with Anderson not there, Oklahoma and their cutting action to the rim should be able to function. I, so I like Oklahoma there, plus two. And then as much as it pains me to say this, Ohio State minus one and a half. Back in January, this team was number one offensive efficiency. The freshmen hit the, that freshman wall, but they've been starting to play better. 
covered three straight games. They've averaged, averaged 74 points um, their last four games. And Wisconsin is three and seven ATS when they don't play at home and they've really struggled on the road this season. Very good. It didn't hurt you that bad to say it. It really hurt me to say that. It hurt. It hurt my ears to hear it. I can tell by <laughs> all the muscles not moving in his face how bad it, it really hurt me to say that. The, the uh, energy that he had when he said it was everything, too. You no, know, I, so I had to Eric up today because we made some picks on who was going to make it to the dance. And... Or was it just who's going to make it to the tournament? I really don't know what we picked last week, honestly. I think you picked who's going to win. Who was going to win? Yeah. Well, we chose five though each, so it was one of the, out of those five was going to win. Okay, yeah. yeah, we can follow that. I got I have it written down. So, Buckeye Britt, you still have a chance to make your pick. Pick five teams that out of one of those five who's going to win the dance this year for the NCAA tournament. However, Eric said, I mean Drake. They're probably not even going to make it. And then they whooped up on Bradley this weekend. And obviously my Missouri State, not in it this year. But Drake is the winner of the Missouri Valley Conference. And they are going to the tournament. So, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Their starting point guard is like 42 years old. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Age is just a number. That's right. Just, just a number. And 69 is also just a number. That's it. Oh. Just a number. Yeah. Uh, really <laughs> quickly, I have a question. Eric, what are your thoughts about Jay Morant and the problems that he's going through? Do you think he, it's an indefinite suspension, or do you think they'll bring him back after a couple games? No, he's done. I think like it's going to be like 50 games probably. Well, didn't he go to – isn't he going to rehab? John Morant? Yeah. No. no. Oh, most no. of fake news. Um, ja, <laughs> or Ja Warrant that they're calling now, which I was like, uh-huh. hey, um, no, he's the one who, yeah, he's the one that, that had the gun on IG Live and was, yes, he's been yeah. doing the most. Yeah, I knew that, but I saw on, as I was scrolling through IG today, it was him with a tequila bottle and they said that he was going to rehab for his drinking. It's got a good PR move. It would no, be a good move. It's going to be. At min 50 games. He's going to be gone, done for a while. Uh, yeah, it's a wrap. He's done. He's going to be done for a while. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry for the Grizzlies, but not sorry. Okay. Celebrity gossip really quickly. Uh, Chris Rock just came out with his stand up uh, show this weekend, and it came out with a lot of mixed reviews. People are saying that it wasn't really the Chris Rock that they come to love. Some said, finally, he's come back. And he's explained his side of the story. My stance on it, it was meh. But at the end, I was like, you know what? Good for him. I I liked it. And I was okay with it. But it didn't make, it wasn't like a ha 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 type of show. It was just kind of like, okay, cool. I get it. So um, I don't know if any of y'all watched it. Well, it's timely because Kendra said one of her favorite celebrities is Will Smith. So <laughs> and we didn't even know that. And we didn't even know that. Um, the last thing that I have for celebrity gossip is the California Powerball winner of $2.04 billion just purchased a $25.5 million house in California. Um, so congratulations to him. You have about three years before you get kicked out for foreclosure. Like you shouldn't have done a $25.5 million house in California. Like, are you crazy? So, but hey, three years in a mansion must be worth it. And that's all I got for Celebrity Gossip. Lena, what's your player's anthem? All right. The player's anthem is a salute to Miss Kendra and OKC Hot Girl Walk. It is Walk This Way by Aerosmith and Run oh, DSP. I love that song, too. Who here for us love that song? Kendra, do you play Walk This Way on your Wednesday walks? Um. You know, I don't think I do, but I'm going to add it. I always start with Let's Go Girls by Shania Twain. I yes. love that. Yes. Another Let's good go one. Girls. All right. So we're going to get Walk This Way added to the playlist. And Kendra, is, do you have anything that you want to say to your patrons of OKC Hot Girl Walk or anyone of our viewership? Anything else about what they should know about OKC Hot Girl Walk? 
how they can start a hot girl walk in their city. Give us some deets there. Yeah. Um, so I actually started all of this from Instagram. Um, I don't have a Twitter or, and I'm really not good with TikTok. Like I am a millennial, but um, I'm just, it's just not my thing, you know? And so I, I started it all on Instagram and then it just grew so rapidly. So our first walk, we had like 30 girls. Our second walk, we had 170. Um, and then we were big enough to do a partnership with Hoka, like the walking shoe. Mm -hmm. um which wow. was really cool and so it just gets larger and larger i think you know our platform right now is to sit somewhere over six thousand um followers but that being said if you know one person that person knows 10 um so yeah. really it's just one of those things where if you can go and have a friend come they are probably going to tell another friend and so so on and so forth um the coolest thing about this is everything we do is free uh, that is something I've really, really implemented on. Um, I don't want anyone to ever feel discouraged of not being able to join in on our walk or anything that we're doing, like these um, workout classes. So we try and keep everything, you know, friendly, like free and stuff like that. It's really great. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do like a walk for a cause and stuff. But if any of you guys ever want to support or follow that right there. That's our handle on Instagram. Give it a follow. Um, it'll keep you up to date with everything. <laughs> Love it. Yes. I, I will say that your your well, your following on Instagram has grown rapidly and it's extremely impressive. So great job there. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, we've got six thousand followers, but we do not have as much like collaboration or people really sharing or commenting at like, you can tell that this is something that people are behind and they want to be a part of. And you can tell that through the engagement that you receive on Instagram. So Jared wants to know how do guys support this walk? Well, first of all, you can give her some money. <laughs> yeah, Jared. I'm tired yeah, of Jared. this. I'm tired of this. Donations. No. Um, I mean, how do you guys support this? It's easier said up here. Um, if you're one of my guy friends or anything like that, I would, you know, hope that you would tell some of your friends about it. Um, I mean, it is Women's History Month right now, so just shout out some women out there. Um, but I mean, there are always plenty of things to help your community, whether it's Houston or OKC. I mean, there are plenty of women shelters who could use the donations. Um, I, you know, we're trying to do what is this? Uh, it's domestic violence like month as well. And so that's just another cool thing to support. So we're going to be partnering with someone local that deals a lot with that um, in women. And so again, they're a nonprofit. You can always donate to a nonprofit like that, that we're supporting. And I mean, through us, you're supporting them and vice versa. So awesome. All right. Well, make sure that you follow OKC underscore hot girl walk on Instagram. And when you are in the Oklahoma City area, make sure to reach out to Kendra on Instagram and find out the details on where that Wednesday walk is. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we will be joining you soon. I would love to come up there and do a walk with you. I can see that happening in my future, but it'd be great if we can get the rest of Sports Life Talk to join as well. Come on the show tonight, ETOF21 Sports on YouTube. Follow him on Twitter, on YouTube, and Instagram. And then Ms. El Paso and Dresses and Salted Pretzels on Instagram as well. And it is the month of the Irish. So make sure you hit up Irish Pub Keneally's for March 17th and March 18th. We have DJs, live bands, Irish dancers, Jello shots on March 17th from noon until 11 p.m. And then on Saturday, March 18th, they are continuing the party and they are going to have crawfish and Tito's for the dogs. I don't know the exact name of that, but Tito's is going to be out there with their dogs. So you can bring your dog and we will have two fire ass female DJs that will be performing on Saturday as well. And so make sure you see all of us at Irish Pub Keneally's for the 17th and 18th. And we hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Adios. I'll be there in heart. Bye.